thing. Okay, so the question is actually, it's, it's, a, it's one that involves both convergence and convergent <coughs> angle. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, so that's one of the reasons it's kind of confusing because we usually, we're used to having convergence questions and conversion angle questions. Well, this is both, yeah. Um, so the question is, so we've got a straight line from A to B, both of them at 53 degrees north. So this is, um, this is something you should be looking out for. Yeah, as soon okay. as you get position A and position B, two positions, you um, look, see if they've got anything in common and both A and B are at 53 degrees north. And that's drawn on a Lambert conformal conic chart with standard parallels 50 north and 56 north. Well, from that, we can say that the parallel of origin is 53 degrees north. Uh, and that's gonna be important because of course, um, that's great when we work out um, convergence and this it's not technically <coughs> conversion angle but this sort of pseudo conversion angle this this chart conversion angle um we are going to use the parallel of origin yeah because this is a straight line on a chart now of course we can see that had we used earth convergence on this it would it will come out the same as chart convergence uh, because they're both at 53 north yeah uh, so it doesn't actually matter on this one but on some questions it will matter okay so the next thing to do is to draw an accurate diagram and there's a pro there's a, an issue with an accurate diagram in this in that people do get confused when we when we're either we've got two points either side of the prime anti-meridian the Greenwich anti-meridian okay so oh, oh last uh the correct diagram for this of course involves uh oh, sorry i'll just do it slightly broader two i'm going to consider two meridians and of course, one parallel, I only really need one parallel, which will be our 53 degrees north. Yeah, so that's gonna be the 53 degrees north. Uh, now the problem comes, which, par which meridian is which? Now, when you go to the wrong side of the world, as it were, so let's quickly have a look at what's happening on the wrong side of the world. So if we go to the prime, uh, close to the prime anti-meridian, then um, you can see here that this is the east. Okay, so this is Japan and here's America. This is the west. So this is the eastern hemisphere and this is the west. So easterly longitudes are here, westerly longitudes are here. Easterly on the right, westerly on the left because you're around the Greenwich Anti-Meridian. Yeah, okay. So if we go back to here, that's told us that we must have our 170 east here and our 155 degrees west here. So What's actually happening, of course, is that somewhere in the middle, we have the 180 east-west. So if I go 10 degrees east of 170 east, I get 180 east. <clears throat> now that, of course, is also 180 west. So as I carry on easterly from 180 west, we get less and less west and we eventually arrive at 155 west. Yeah. But what's more important to us is that somewhere around there is also 175 east mm -hmm. so we're more interested in in this case in 175 east so these are our positions um and of course true north is up the up each meridian and if i draw the oh let's, let's label a and b for now so we've got uh, 155 west is a uh, and here is b so these two positions are a and b respectively and this is the line that we've drawn yeah yeah now you can see that the direction of that line now we can work out the direction of the line at either a or b by using something that's remarkably like a conversion angle okay so the angle between because we know that the track a to b via a rum line yeah i can see it's decreasing so okay Two degree, se yeah. is 270 mm -hmm. degrees mm -hmm. yeah so the rum line from a to b is 270 degrees yeah um, what we can see is that the straight line from a to b <coughs> is greater than the rum line by this angle here because of course this is that's true north and the track a to b is around here which is through 270 up to that line um so that's measured at a and this angle here, which I'm going to call alpha, is actually, it's, it's calculated the same way as a conversion angle. It's going to be half change of longitude times 
sine parallel of origin. Yeah, it's so not now. not sine mean lat here. Although in, the, in in reality, in this question, this particular question, it doesn't matter which you use because they're the same. And even if they're slightly different, it doesn't really matter because the, the um, it's not very sensitive. The sign isn't, or rather the, the value isn't very sensitive to the, the latitude put in sign. But um, yeah, if we want to do it accurately, we need par sign parallel of origin, just, just in case there's a question there that has a parallel of origin and the mean latitude different. So we've got half. Well, change of longitude, right. Well, how do we work out change of longitude? Well, different hemispheres, we add them up. 155 plus 170 giving me three, two, five, is that correct? Mm -hmm. uh, and if, so if it comes to more than 180, uh, uh, one eight, it become, comes to more than 180, we subtract from 360, which means 35 degrees. So we've got 360 minus 325 equals uh, 35 degrees. Yeah. So we've got half Chalong, which is 35 degrees, Sine, sine, parallel of origin, which we've already said is 53 degrees. So 0.5 times 35 times sine 53, giving me 14 degrees. Yeah. 13.98 degrees, yeah. So 14 degrees. And we've already said that the bearing at A is 270 plus 14. Now, of course, the bearing at B is 270 minus 14. So you could measure at, at B instead. Um, some people prefer to, to work it out at the one closest to where they want. We want 175 East. B is closer to that. I prefer to always do it at the beginning. It's just, to be honest, it doesn't really matter. So the track A to B at A is 270 plus 14, which equals 284 degrees. True. Yeah. So this bearing here is 284 degrees. True. It's not what we want, of course. Now, if you were to, <coughs> excuse me, if you did want that at B instead, if we, if we wanted to calculate that at B instead, because um, I say, uh, oh, sorry. Uh, some people prefer to calculate that at B. Yeah, that, that's what I've done for this one, actually. Okay, uh, that's fine. Uh, so it's 270 minus 14, which will give me 256 six degrees. Uh, true. Okay, so the bearing here is 256 degrees. True. Okay, so I'm, I'm going to scrub this now just so, um, I mean, you'll have the recording of this if you want to look over it again, but just so I've got the space. So now we know the bearing at A or at B, whichever we prefer, uh, or both as we have, um, we now need to convert that to the bearing at 175 East. And we know that if we follow a straight line on a chart, the change of bearing is going to be convergence. Okay, so I, I'm going to work out the chart convergence. So it's gonna be, a straight line on a chart, the change of bearing is chart convergence. So chart convergence equals change of longitude multiplied by sine parallel of origin. Yeah. Um, so for, for my one then, if I'm going to use A as my, um, as my location, I want Chalong from A to 175. So Chalong a to 175 east is going to be, um, well, A is at 155 west, 155 plus 175 uh, gives me, um, that's going to be 330, isn't it? Yeah, equals 330, 360 minus 330, so it's going to, it's going to be 30 degrees. Yeah, so I think I know where, um, where I, got it. I got confused now. Um, uh, okay, so so my Chalong is now 30 degrees, so 30 times sine parallel of origin is 53. Uh, so 30 times sine 53 is 24 degrees. And we can look at this diagram, particularly as we've worked out the bearing B, and we can see that the bearing as we move along this straight line, the bearing is reducing. Yeah, 
So what I can then immediately do is I can work, calculate 284 minus 24 equals 260 degrees true. Yeah. I did it the other way um, yeah. at, at B. So I found 256 okay. and then um, I calculated the um, convergency from A just because they were ah. closer. Yeah. Uh, from yeah. B, sorry, from B, just yeah. because they were closer. And then so I found fa um, four degrees. And because we are going uh, east, so it's increasing so northern you, hemisphere, yeah. I added it to 254. Yeah. Now, yeah. by the way, yeah, for adding or subtracting, you can use the DIID. But of course, for the conversion angle, I recommend drawing the diagram anyway. So you've probably got the yeah. diagram there anyway. Um, yeah. So so this is the way I would have done it, the way you've done it. So chart, oh, let's, we, can, we can just go to here. Um, so those that want to do it at B, so at B, chart convergence between um, between B um, and 175, well, that's easy. That's five degrees, that, isn't it? That's what I've done. <laughs> five degrees no times sine 53 is four degrees. Mm -hmm. uh, if you put, plug it into your calculator. And so then, as you said, we can see that the bearings are increasing as we go back towards A, or we can DIID it. Yeah, so as we move the bearing eastward, <coughs> even that's westerly bearing, as we move it eastward, it's increasing. So you get 256 plus four degrees equals 260 degrees, true. Um, and so we've got the same answer, whether we work it out from the end or the beginning, we've got the same answer. Uh, and it, in the end, it, it really doesn't matter. Okay. Uh,